Hi everybody and welcome back on the channel. Uh, as you know, I promised you uh, an exclusive interview with uh, Yukio Futatsugi, the creator of the Panzer Dragon series. And uh, well, this is what uh, I'm uh, offering you today. So without further ado, let's get started. So the world is currently in a very particular situation and many businesses, including video game studios, are being impacted. We certainly hope that you are all safe. Can you tell us what games projects your team at uh, Grounding are currently working on? We recently released Space Channel 5 VR. This is a sequel, or should I say a title by the original staff. I'm also working on a new adventure game, Death March Club, with Okada from Dongon Ronpa. Also, the development for, of The Good Life is at its climax. In addition, I'm developing JoJo's smartphone games and other unreleased smartphone games that are Japan-only releases. The Panzer Dragon fans have been extremely happy to see the series come back with Panzer Dragon Remake. It shows there is still a lot of love for this series. They also welcome the announcement of a VR Panzer Dragon game and they are now looking forward to playing Panzer Dragon Spy Remake. How do you feel about all this love for Panzer Dragon? I didn't think at the time that I would become such a well-loved title. Even 25 years after the release of the first one, as far as releasing it, I don't think it belongs to me. It belongs to the people who play it and, uh, and the fans. A game is only complete when people play it. In that sense, it's a blessing in disguise that people who used to play the game are now making remakes and VR versions. Also, there are many people who told me about my work after I left SEGA because I was the creator of Panzer Dragon, so I'm very grateful in that sense. Rail shooters have shined in the past for their arcade feeling. Do you think the genre could be adapted and modernized to take advantage of the recent hardware and the taste of new generations with a new Panzer Dragon shooter? Is this something you would be interested to work on? I think rail shooters are unfortunately outdated as a game system which is why I'm not sure I'll ever be able to play them again. However, when combined with new equipment, there is still much to be done. I don't think I would have started working on Crimson's Dragon if it wasn't for the premise of playing it on the Kinect. And I think it's a good combination with VR. However, I don't think I'm going to tackle the genre again, as I think I'm done with raid shooters. Many gamers love games with fleshed out stories, this is one of the reasons Azel Saga is so loved by the fans, including me. Its battle system was also incredibly fun. You mentioned in past interviews that you had to remove content from the original game due to storage limitations. The game was already on 4 discs. I think it was something about Crayman if I remember correctly. When I was writing the scenario, I was writing gameplay and events for getting to Crayman in the second half. We had to create a lot of content for Azel and there was a lot of trial and error, so we had to reevaluate the amount of content several times in order to get it done. Among them, the relevant part was cut out quite early. Have you kept records of this removed content? Is this something you might want to add and even to develop more in a Azel Panzer Dragon RPG remake, considering you would be interested in working on such project? Some people may be disappointed to hear this, but I don't think I'm going to do another remake for the same reason I didn't want to do a remake of one. Right now, I'm more interested in making a new game than remakes. There's also the goal of managing the grounding to make it a better team. And I'm thinking right now that it's hard to do both of those things and make Panzer Dragon. And I'm more interested in seeing how young people cook the games they have made. Fans see a potential in the Panzer Dragon series in terms of art, lore and storytelling. They think it shouldn't be kept for old fans only, but new generations should be able to discover its amazing world. Apart from remakes, Let's say everything was possible. Where do you see the Panzer Dragon series go from here? An open world? A semi-open world? What about its combat system? If I had to make a sequel to Panzer, I would think of it as an open world. However, there must be new elements of the game system to match that worldview. I also think it's going to be a game in such a way that you can't tell it's a sequel to Panzer Dragon when you first see it. Staffing is also very important. Since I made this game with Mr. Kuzunoki, I don't think we'll make a sequel unless he says he will do it with me. So does the rest of the key staff. I'm working again with Mr. Kondo, who created the first work with me, and Yoshida, the art director of Tsui. 
Several games such as the Falconeer and Sable have a Panzer Dragon fans enthusiast. Is the future of the Panzer Dragon series something you discuss with your colleagues at Grounding and with your former Team Andromeda colleagues these days? I've heard Falconeer before and I've been interested in it. And Sable looks good too. I like this kind of worldview for myself. I love that style of thinking about the past by looking for what's left after a big event. So does Phantom Dust. I often talk to my colleagues about the future of Panzer Dragon series or the rather the new games I want to make next. The last 10 years have been a decade of building a team called Grounding. And now that we've built up a lot of that, we are starting to prepare for a new game that we are going to make with that team. I talk a lot with my colleagues about what it takes. I still meet with some of the Andromeda team members. We had a drink on Zoom the other day, but we talk about what we want to do in the future. Maybe we get to see the story of the salaryman riding the Yamanote line to Tokyo. This is a joke. So for those who don't know, this is a reference to Hazel's saga. There is a fourth wall you break when you finish the game. And basically during some interviews, we found out that one of the early concepts was to have the whole Panzer Dragon world imagined by a salaryman watching through the train's window. So here is his answer. We may never play that again, but I'd like to make a game that would be accepted with such an impact. Love. You experience crowdfunding with a good life. How do you see this kind of uh, funding impact game development in the near future? Do you see this being an upshot from Pons and Dragoon? We know the fans want to help. The Good Life is a crowdfunding project. I think I understand better the wonderful and difficult aspects of this method than I did before. Considering that, I don't think we are going to make a sequel to Pons and Dragoon in this way. I'm very grateful that there might be fans who support that. However, I believe that the Panzer series is an IP that must have in bracket, the most advanced graphics of its time and bracket, if it is a new work. To do that would be pretty difficult with the budget that crowdfunding can raise and eventually you would have to raise money from somewhere else. Still, if I had to do a Panzer sequel through crowdfunding, I would probably get a certain amount of the budget from elsewhere and then crowdfunding it for the reason that I want to have fun making it with the fans. And I think that would be very interesting in its own right, and I think it would be a way to show my gratitude to those who have remained fans so far. So that was it for the interview. As you can notice, uh, I think it's pretty positive that uh, Futatsugi still want to consider uh, the Panzer Dragon series, and uh, I'm very glad that he sees the, the Red Shooter is maybe not the future of the series, and uh, you know, that an open world, as we suggested many times before, Uh, in the community, maybe an open world is the future of the series, maybe an action RPG or JRPG, I don't know. I hope they have ideas, I hope they, they really consider this. Uh, this interview was very, very interesting from my point of view, I hope you will enjoy it. Uh, and that's very promising, so fingers crossed. We need to keep uh, being vocal about what we want. If we want a, a Saga remake, we need to tell Sega. Maybe Futatsugi doesn't do it, but still, uh, we, we need a remake of this game. It's uh, It can't remain lost forever. We need a remake. And uh, possibly a, a new game. It would be really cool, really cool. Maybe a reboot uh, or a totally new story, a completely new story. It would be fun. Uh, anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video, this interview. And uh, if you did, well, please uh, hit uh, that like button and uh, share about this video and, and subscribe. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you. Bye bye.